Dan, congratulations. Through to the second round here at the World Seniors Darts Champion. Long old match, how did you find it? Um, well, I got off to a bad start. <laughs> but to be fair, the first two sets, he, I thought he played really well. I don't know what the averages were, but I wasn't playing too good. And I thought he was playing really well. I just thought, get your act together and hang in there and the chances will come. And fortunately for me, that's how it panned out. You've played a lot of the tour events this year in the seniors. Have you come to expect that sort of standard from your opponents on the seniors tour? I think the standard on the seniors tour is better than what I've just played there. A lot better. If I, if I get to last 16, last 8 on a seniors tour event, and I played like that, I'd get beat and be going on. There'll be players in this event that haven't picked up darts for weeks, months, and you've been active on, as I say, the Seniors Tour and in the Super Series. Do you see that as a big positive going in? Um, if there's players coming here that haven't picked it up, then why are they here? You know what I mean? You know, I'm, I'm active, I'm playing the Tour, I play WDF, I'm playing ADC, I play local comps. I'm an active dart player. If somebody's just sat on their ass waiting for an invite and coming up and pick a check up, then no, that's not right in my eyes. And that stage up there, one of the iconic stages in the world of darts, what was it like to be up there in front of that crowd? Yeah, I <laughs> quite enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy it first two sets because, you know, I were under the cosh a bit, but the crowd was superb. And, I'm surprised how many how many fans Larry Butler had. Probably had more than me in that in, in that crowd. You expect it to be a big crowd, whether it is Colin McGarry or Phil Taylor in the next round as well. I think there'll be a massive crowd on Saturday. Yeah, it'll be a different atmosphere. You've just got to go with the flow. Get stuck in there and you know whatever happens happens. Collins obviously in good form played well yeah, no. for the tour events. Are you expecting to play him over Phil? I don't know how Phil's playing, it's a bit of a mystery. Nobody knows has he been practicing? I've not seen him about seen him about in many exhibitions. He's the type of guy that he might do a load of practice and come here and blast it. But Colin McGarry is an absolutely awesome player and if, if Phil Taylor has not been on the practice board, if he's been a bit lazy, I don't know if he has, but if he has not prepared, then Colin McGarry will beat him. Cheers, Darren. Cheers. Darren, 2-0 down, what did you say to yourself at the break of the final Um, I was just saying to myself, at 1-0 down, right, win the next set. 2-0 down, <laughs> you have to win this set. And never give in, just keep battling, keep playing. And he played really, really well first, the first two sets. Like I said, I, I don't know what he averaged, but I just felt like he was playing really well. And I thought, well, if he keeps this standard up, fair play. But if you if you dip, I'm going to be there, and I just I just kept plodding on. I saw you with the legendary Dennis Priestley shirt on there. Was there a story behind that? There is a story behind it. Um, when I first started darts years and years ago, uh, Dennis took me to Super League. Uh, I went. I played county with Dennis, and then he said you should. The PDC came about and he said, you need to be playing these PDC tournaments. Then I started going to PDC tournaments with Dennis and it went from there. Travelled all over the world with him. We live like 20 yards from each other. And it's like, it's like being a dad to me. He's looked after me, he's took me everywhere. So, you know, and he's, he's an absolute icon, one of the best Probably top five players of all time, Dennis. And I wish you were still in this. Seniors, I think he's about 67 now, he might be 68. But I thought that red and black shirt should not be retired just yet. And I said to Dennis, if I qualify for the World Championships, I'm wearing that shirt. And, you know, that's what I did. How does it feel for you to be here mixing it with the legends of the sport on an iconic stage? Absolutely love it, that's why you play darts. I mean, if you don't want to, if you don't want to play on the big stages, 
don't play darts. That's it's everybody's ultimate goal. Play on the big stages against the best players. Do you feel next game will be a bit more relaxed now and we've got the, the edgy first game? Yeah, there? definitely. I was really edgy early on, but fair play to Larry. I mean, he's a legend himself, and he played he played really well. So yeah, I'll be. I will be better t on um, Saturday. I will be better. Cheers, Darren. All the best for that. Yeah, thanks very much, guys. Thank